Welcome to Dent Reviews. Today I'd like to do a tutorial about how to change the filters on the Edemotic ER4S earphones. It's pretty simple. Um, first, you just remove the ear tip, and you'll see I have the red filters in place right now. Yeah. And right there, you can see it's a metal housing around the filter. Um, according to Edemotic, the metal nose filters um, are more likely to crack this nozzle housing here and there is a significant amount of pressure compared to the standard filters um, which are plastic if you can see that they're kind of a green plastic for the green filters and a red plastic for the red filters um, I can tell you right now the the etymotic filters do fit in a lot more easily um, but basically to change the filter you take off the ear tip you get the etymotic ear filter removal tool you just point the tip into the filter and you screw them a few times not even maybe one or one or two turns you don't need to really jam them in there you just need to screw it in until it feels like firm and then see I'm pulling it kind of firmly here and see the filter came off on the tool so then next you take a new filter um, for this video, I'm going to be installing a, an orange filter. I usually take the side that has the filter material closer to the end and put that away. See how the material is close to the edge? And on that side, it goes deeper in. I take the deep side and I put it in the earphone. So what you end up with is the material closer to your ear. I don't think it really matters, um, but most of the photos I've looked at show that way and the instructions in the manual don't really tell you so next what you do is you simply push it in and if you can see it kind of goes firmly in there and then you take a flat surface and just push the filter in all the way so it's flush then you take the ear tip and put it back on and you're done now to remove the filters without the filter tool is probably pretty impossible with these Knowles filters however with the green filters that I had from Metamotic, I was able to remove these with these tweezers. And I didn't actually take the tweezers and grab the edge like you'd expect. What I did instead was put the tweezer edge into the filter just a little bit and I kind of pried it out. I kind of scarred, scarred the edge of the filter there, you can see that. However, if you can see inside, the filter material is intact so I was able to actually get this one out although I'm not sure how I feel about putting it back in however it's possible alright so one more time I'll take the filter the filter removal tool I'll screw the tool into the filter and as I screw it in just gently pull it out now you have a filter on the tool and nothing in the earphone. Now be really careful when you do this because you don't want to get any debris inside of your earphone. That's part of the reason they have these filters is to keep earwax and things like that from getting inside the filter. So then you take the new filter. So you'll see that side's the deeper side. Simply push that in. And there you go. You have the filter material closer to your ear. I flatten it and then I take a flat surface like this tweezers. You just push it flat so that it turns sort of flush with the end. And then you replace your ear tip. And you have a nice new earphone filter. I don't recommend trying to remove the filters without the filter tool. It is possible with the Edemotic plastic filters. However, with the Knowles metal filters, there's enough tension that I think you're going to do more damage than good trying to pry it out with anything you use just my opinion maybe there's something out there that you could use maybe there's a custom tool that they make but with just household tweezers and things like that you're probably better off just leaving them in even with the etymotic plastic filters it's just it's not worth the couple dollars to to risk damaging the earphone nozzle in my opinion I was told by etymotic that the Knowles filters have caused cracking in the nozzle housing um, I can tell you for sure that they are tighter the plastic filters by etymotic are definitely uh, looser fitting they're not loose they stay in place but they're they slide in you know fairly easily whereas the nulls require some pressure and some force to get them snug 
Um, so I, I could see how there definitely would be truth to that. Edamotic, as far as I know, sells the green and red filters on their site in plastic in pairs of three for $15 right now. Um, so I would recommend getting those filters once you know which filters you want for good. If you're careful, you might be able to get away with trying the metal nose filters and determining which color you like the best of. I've swapped a few different metal filters and I haven't seemed to have any problems yet. I'm careful with this, the uh, filter tool though. I think if you were to screw it in too tightly, the um, force of screwing it might expand that filter a little bit and that could cause some cracking. I screwed in just enough to grab the filter and pull it out. Um, so, you know, be cautious with the metal filters. Um, Edamotic recommends the plastic, but either way, it's a good way to test out different frequency responses, see which one you like the best, and then you can purchase the ones that you want in bulk from Edamotic or from Knowles. That's it. How to change your filter in the ER4S. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and if you liked the video, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.